What's up guys? Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona. The Sagrada Familia made a big announcement last week. They no longer would be making their 2026 deadline to finish the construction of the church. And they also made another announcement. I won tickets this past weekend to the open doors. So in this video, we're gonna find out what that change in deadline really means for the church and take a special visit inside to see what the current plans are moving forward. But if you're new here, check out some of my other videos and subscribe if you want to hear more about what's going on in Barcelona and get you prepared for your next trip. Now, if you saw my video on things to do in September in 2020, you know that the Sagrada Familia was hosting an open door session this past weekend, allowing 12,000 people to come in and check out what the plans were for the Sagrada Familia. Interestingly enough, it coincided with the announcement that they would no longer be making that 2026 deadline to finish construction on the church. The worst part is that everybody that's asked me the last several years when the Sagrada Familia is gonna be finished, now that answer has to change. Construction on the Sagrada Familia started in 1882, and little by little, it's been growing each of those years. Everything has been changed in the last couple of years to make sure it finishes in 2026 to mark the 100th year anniversary of Antoni Gaudí's death. Big plans were set for that year, but nobody saw a work stoppage this long due to the coronavirus happening. This is the longest work stoppage since a civil war, and no work has been done since mid-March. Now the plans are to start up again in the next two weeks, but the Sagrada Familia has already guaranteed that that 2026 deadline will be impossible to meet. In fact, no long-term plans are scheduled for the Sagrada Familia. The only thing that we know is that the Mary Tower will be finished sometime in 2021. The biggest reason that these changes have taken place is the money that's not coming into the Sagrada Familia anymore. Now, one of the big things you need to understand with the Sagrada Familia is that it is a church, it is a basilica, but more than anything, it's an expiatory temple, which means it's a place where you can wash away your sins, but the money's coming from the inside. It's coming from those public donations. More than anything, that money's been coming from the tourists. And when you have a church that relies on 94% of its admission prices coming from foreigners, the coronavirus has really affected the amount of money that the church can make. Last year alone, the Sagrada Familia had four and a half million visitors go inside. That brought in a total of 100 million euros in revenue. This year, the projections were to make about 103 million euros, and they're going to be making over 80% less than those projected prices. If everything goes to plan, 17 million euros will be made by the Sagrada Familia this year off of admissions. Keep in mind that the Sagrada Familia is only open on weekends for visits, so there's no way that they're gonna make the amount of money that they were hoping for. And that's gonna give serious problems moving forward, especially trying to finish on deadlines like 2026. Like I said before, the plans to finish the Mary Tower for next year are the only current plans that are still in place. The idea for the open doors was to give everybody an idea of what that Mary Tower was gonna look like in the end. And I wanted to share that with you in this video. The Mary Tower is gonna to be the second tallest of the 18 proposed towers in the Basilica, just behind the main tower, the Jesus Tower. When all is said and done, the Mary Tower will be 138 meters tall, which is around 450 feet. They've done a lot of work in the last couple of years to get to where they are, and currently there's 25 meters left to go. Those 25 meters are gonna be done in three different phases. The first phase is a crown with 12 different stars around it. The second is the famous hyperboloid used by Gaudí that will be decorated in that famous noticeable mosaic tile. And the last part is the morning star. Part of that was on display in the open doors. The idea is to have a seven and a half meter star with 12 different sides on it, each with a different point. What we got to see at the open doors was one of those points, which was three meters by itself. Just like last year, the visit was a really great experience to see what the plans are for the time being moving forward. Nothing is known after this next year, but as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. But leave a comment below. When do you think the Sagrada Familia is going to be finished? We'll see in the future who gets it right. In the meantime, I will be uploading more and more videos on things you can do in Barcelona. Check some of those out and subscribe to keep yourself up to date on everything happening in Barcelona. Thanks for watching and see you next time.